Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video guys. In today's video guys, I will be feeding every single animal I own. Guys, you guys know that I own red seal catfish, Oscars, uh, Asian water monitor, and baby iguanas, and even a ball python. So guys, in today's video, I will be feeding every single animal that I own. So first up, let's feed my baby green iguana. Let's go. Hey you guys, so this right here is my baby green iguana enclosure. So let me get this down. You guys can see that we have an actual salad down here for him that we fed him yesterday. So I just grabbed this paper towel out and you guys can see we had fed him some carrots and some kale. So I gotta sweep all of this out, get all of that out. But if you guys can see, that is the baby green iguana right there in between the log and his little enclosure. All right guys, so all I feed him is some kale. So today he's just gonna only eat kale, nothing else, because he had some carrots, he had some strawberries, some fruit, some blueberries, some raspberries. You guys can see them all down here actually. He has not ate them all yet. So we'll sprinkle these back on top and then hopefully he'll eat them in just a little bit. All right guys, and if you see that water dish right back there, we have to fill that up with some more water because we do not want it that to get. All right guys, we got the water right here in this bottle. So let's go right back here. Just pour all of the water. It's okay if it splashes anywhere, but that's all you need to take care of a baby green of water every single day. And then it's some calcium and blueberries and stuff. So it will help his bones and it is right underneath that basket as well. All right, guys, so next up to feed are my fish. Guys, this is my big 55 gallon aquarium. You guys can see how big it is, you guys. So in this enclosure right now, well, aquarium, I should say, we have a red tail catfish, if you guys can see his little fin, and then we have a baby tiger Oscar. So yeah, guys, for these fish, they eat shrimp, tilapia, all kinds of things, and even some fruits sometimes. So today's video, guys, on the menu, we're gonna have some shrimp and tilapia. So without further ado, let me go to the shrimp and tilapia. We're gonna start their feeding. All right guys, and right here in this little mush, mash, whatever you wanna call it, we have some shrimp and tilapia. So what I'm gonna do is get them right here, look at the baby tiger on the right Put it right up here, like this. Just so the red tail can get some, and the little tiger Oscar can also get some. Just like that. That is basically what I do every single day. Once this red tail gets bigger, I increase the load of the food that I put in here about every single day by just a few percentage. And guys, watch in this cave in just a little bit. This red tail is gonna smell because of those whiskers he's had, he has. He's gonna be able to smell in the water and he'll know that it's food. And in just a second, you guys are gonna see him go crazy. All right, guys, like I was saying, you guys can see that little white hair looking thing that's sticking out of the water. That is actually the front of the little os well, not Oscar, the red tail catfish. Guys, if I can move this cave, you guys will be able to see him all the way. There he is. He finally got out of his cave. Look at him. He's going to go crazy for some food now. Let's watch him eat. Look at that. He's just all the way in the back. You guys can even see the front of him, honestly. Look at him. Chowing down on some shrimp. Look at it. Guys, he has ate yesterday as well, so his stomach is just huge. But I'm not gonna overfeed him too much, but this guy is getting really, really big. I promise you he's probably like four to five inches already. And I got him around, I'd say three inches. These catfish grow like an inch or two every two weeks they are growing. They grow so, so fast. So, without further ado, since we fed the 55 gallon aquarium and we fed my baby green iguana guys, let's head in this to this huge enclosure and feed Raya, my Asian water monitor. We're gonna feed it, Raya, my Asian water monitor. Just go like that, pop this thing open, this door. There we go, and open sesame. We are inside her enclosure, right here to the right of us guys. You guys can see she has a crystal clear pond that actually houses a turtle. So just in a minute, we're gonna take out the turtle and we're gonna see if he wants to eat some food as well. All right, guys, this is the food we will be feeding right. So right here we have some tilapia and we have some shrimp. So Raya's favorite food is probably the tilapia. So 
We're gonna come right up here. Let me show y'all real quick. This is where she's at. We gotta come up here. Okay, we'll wiggle this around. Oh my gosh. You guys see that, guys? I've never been up in person with Raya feeding her like this. It's so cool. She just dove right into her pond. Guys, this is so cool. I never got to feed Raya this up close and personal. You guys can see her pop up. You guys can see her tail in the water, actually. This is so cool. Like, look at her through her head. We're gonna feed her some more. See what else she wants. Guys, I just gave Raya a piece of tilapia off camera. Look at her. She has it in the water. She's about to eat it. I think she's about to come in. Since I moved her in here, she's just been a totally different lizard. Like, look at this. What's going on, Roger? What's up? I <laughs> really remote. But that is right, and that's what she like loves to eat. That's like one of her favorite foods. Alright guys, so I'm not totally done with this enclosure yet. We have one more animal to feed. So I have a piece of shrimp sitting right here. Um, and look, I'm gonna sit this piece of shrimp like right here in the middle of the water. And see if it comes out. Okay, I see him. I'm all the way up to the top. This is an OG, you guys, an OG animal. Right here, look at it. Remember Sammy? He's a little shy right now, but look at that. This is an OG animal right here, you guys. This is Sammy. He's gonna grab a piece of shrimp, go all the way down, you guys. And I'm just gonna drop that piece of shrimp, let him tear it up and eat it. And Riot is still sitting over here with her little piece. Look at it. But guys, her head and just like every part of her body has just been getting huge. Like, I don't get it, you guys. She's been just looking like a beast. I don't know, and maybe she's getting bigger. Or maybe she's not, but she it's been three much. She's definitely gotten bigger. I don't know what I'm saying, but she has been eating like crazy. Alright guys, this right here is my ball python, you guys. And I low-key forgot that she already ate, if you guys can kind of see. Like, let me let me show y'all. Let me bring y'all into the light more. Okay, so you see this mid section where my thumb is at right here? That is really, really fat because guys, she has just ate yesterday. You guys can see. She is sort of blue, which means she's going into shed, and I don't like to handle my snakes when they're going into shed. So we're gonna put her back into her ha into her little enclosure slash habitat and let her do her thing. So yeah, guys, I've tried putting my baby ball python into a bigger enclosure, but she just never likes it. Um, she was actually in this girl tent right here, the four by two by two, and guys, she escaped, and then I put her back in here there. I fixed everything up. She loved it. She was swim. She was just around the entire enclosure, but it just seemed so big. And then I tried to feed her in there. She wouldn't eat. So it was just like, this isn't gonna work out. Uh, she had so many hiding spots and stuff like that, but it was just too big of an area, and she just didn't feel comfortable. So I put her back into her tinier enclosure, and it's a little bit warmer in that tiny enclosure right now. So when she gets bigger, guys. You guys know that I love to spoil my animals with the best. Look at Raya's enclosure, like just look at that. That thing is huge. Literally as tall as me basically. Um, and probably like, I'd say at least six foot wide. So yeah, she she's pretty spoiled. She's gonna be getting an upgrade as well because she's growing like crazy. I bet you guys in like a year or two, she's gonna probably be fully, fully grown because I'm feeding her every single day, guys. So 
when you feed your animals every single day and they're getting the right amount of nutrients and stuff, they're gonna grow. They're just bound to happen. So yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys absolutely enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to this channel, guys. So without further ado, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next episode. Peace out.